Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review and first impression of the Leo Le Beyond the Solution and Triple the Solution BB Cream. So I'm currently wearing these foundations on half half my face and I will update you throughout the day to see how they wear. So it is currently 7.53 and I'm just going to start applying the products. So to apply the foundations I'm going to use my Beauty Blender and this is dampened already because this is what I use every day for my foundation and I won't use any primers because honestly I don't use them every day and I just want to see how the product acts on its own. So as you know I'm going to try out these two products, the Beyond the Solution and Triple the Solution from Leo Alley um, and I'm going to apply one on each half obviously. So I just pinned back my hair and I'm going to start applying these products. Uh, I'm going to start with Beyond the Solution. Um, this is the one without SPF. And it comes with a pump, which is awesome. And I'm just going to start by pumping out on my hand. So this is the color and consistency right there. So hopefully this will be a good match. Uh, I feel like it could be. So I'm just going to start applying it to this side of my face. It has like a soapy smell, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's slightly scented. So this is a BB cream finished applying. Um, I feel like this is a really really good match for me um so yeah this is uh the side with the beyond the solution bb cream so for the other side i'm going to use the triple the solution from also from leo Ali. and this also comes with a pump the packaging is identical um and the consistency of this is it's basically the same it has also a very thick consistency so I hope these colors will be similar enough, uh, but I'm just going to apply this in the same way. So now I'm done applying the foundations to my face and with the colouring I feel like the triple the solution uh, is a tad bit darker than the beyond the solution but they are pretty similar in colour and both of them match me pretty well right now which is good. Um, so I'm just gonna zoom you in and show you what my skin looks like. So this is my skin currently, so like I said this is the Beyond the Solution BB cream and this side is the Triple the Solution. I feel like I needed less product with, triple, um, with this side uh, and I feel like the coverage is slightly higher as well, uh, you can see around my nose. But yeah, I feel like they look pretty good right now. I mean you can still see my pores and stuff but I don't feel like the product is enhancing it in any ways. Um, and otherwise this looks really natural on my face and it looks really good to be honest. So I'm just gonna finish up doing my makeup and I will be right back. So I just finished applying my makeup and this is what it looks like currently. So I forgot to mention this earlier but I feel like these foundations have a, a light to medium coverage and it's definitely buildable. But yeah, this is what my makeup looks like currently. I feel like my makeup went on really smoothly over uh, these foundations. And, and the only thing is that it does not set on its own. Uh, I can feel like my skin is a little bit sticky still. Uh, although I, I set my face with my RCMA No Color Powder. Uh, but yeah, I will zoom you in to show you a close up. So now we're really close and personal. Uh, I will start with the Beyond the Solution uh, side. and. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Uh, you can still see my pores, like I said, uh, and also my forehead. Uh, don't mind this. Uh, my makeup always settles down in my um, 
expression lines when I do my makeup because I raise my eyebrows a lot as you can see um, so that happens with basically all foundations um, but yeah you can still see some of my um, pigmentation um, especially on this side I feel like I feel like this side has slight more coverage um, but yeah I feel like it still looks very nice on my skin and I don't feel like this emphasizes any of my dryness, which is really good because some foundations just sit very weirdly on top of my skin. Um, but yeah, I will update you in a couple of hours. And I forgot to say, it is currently 8.23, so basically 8.30, and I will update you in a few hours. Hi guys, so I'm here for my first update with the foundation. Uh, this is what it's looking like currently and I thought that I would do this video vlog style since the sun is super bright and I can't sit in my normal location um, because it's basically blinding me but I hope you don't mind uh, but I will just zoom you in to show you what the foundation looks like. So again we're really close and personal to my face but this is what the foundation looks like currently and as you can see I'm starting to get oily around my nose uh, which is where I get oily normally and my forehead looks normal and my chin is getting a tiny bit oily too uh, but that's pretty normal for me uh, I only have a couple foundations that doesn't do that to me and also I find that foundations that don't dry down initially usually gets a little bit oily on me and um, so that's perfectly normal um, but like you can see uh, my pores are pretty visible and I know that I said in my initial uh, thoughts that it didn't emphasize my pores and that's true but also it doesn't really hide them at all um, so I would definitely use a pore minimizing primer with this foundation um, because like I said that's one of my main concerns with my skin uh, but I will zoom you out and give you my final thoughts. So personally I would go ahead and powder at this point but it's still not unwearable and I would be fine walking out like this uh, but if I saw that my face was, I don't know, like a tiny bit oily I would obviously powder but I won't for this update because I want to see how oily it gets or and if it gets unwearable. So it is currently 121 so the foundation has been on for or the foundations actually has been on for about um five and a half hours um and i feel like it's holding up pretty okay and honestly i can't really tell a massive difference between the two sides of my face i honestly forgot that i'm trying out two different uh, foundations uh, when i first updated you guys but um if anything i feel like um the triple dissolution side is slightly more oily um, but I think this side sits better on my skin than the Beyond Dissolution BB Cream um, but honestly there's not a big difference between the two sides but I will see if there is any more uh, differences between the two foundations at my next update so I will catch you in that. Bye! Hi guys so I'm back for my final update on the Lirali foundations uh, I think that in my last update I mixed the sides up actually. I said that this one was the triple solution and this one was beyond the solution. But this one is actually the beyond the solution and this one is the triple solution. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so I feel like these foundations still look pretty good. Um, I think that they have gotten a tiny bit more oily since last update. But not much at all. Um, I still wouldn't mind if I came home from work and looked like this. I wouldn't really mind. Um, so I think they did pretty well for being BB creams and they haven't faded at all uh, which is super good. Usually my foundation fades a lot around my nose um, and also like it just like starts becoming very dry around like my <laughs> this <laughs> looks very weird but around my nose and my um, mouth area like my chin and stuff but this hasn't done that at all so that makes me super super happy. Um, but like I said, I would personally powder maybe f mid through the day. So it is currently 7.21. Uh, so the foundations have been on for about nine and a half hours, which I feel like is plenty of time. And also the sun is about to set, so I really want to finish up this uh, update before it gets too dark outside. Um, but anyway, uh, I feel like the foundations did super, super well. And I will zoom you in to show you how they look right now. 
So this is what my face looks like currently and uh, this is the last time that you will be this close to my face today, I promise. Um, but anyway, like I said, I don't feel like the foundations have gotten uh, much more oily since last time. Um, yeah, I feel like these held up really really well and I feel like if I powdered my face, which I will do in a second, I feel like these would look really good still. Um, and like I said, I have no fading at all which is super good and I just feel like these did super well for being BB creams and uh, throughout the day my skin has been looking very natural um, like I said you can definitely see my pores and this isn't a perfect thing foundation I just feel like the, both of these are uh, good foundations to use uh, for like a really natural look and for everyday use um, but yeah I will zoom you all <laughs> And to finish off this update, I will go ahead and powder my face just to see how the foundations look after being powdered. And I'll be using the Superstay, um, no, the Better Skin uh, Powder by Maybelline. So after powdering, these look amazing like my skin looks so good for almost wearing this for 10 hours i will zoom you in again because i just want to show you the difference so again this is my face zoomed in and i don't know if you can tell but there's a huge difference uh in my face and uh, like i said my skin isn't perfect and you can see that but usually you wouldn't be this close um to someone's face but this looks amazing still um like I said, it hasn't faded at all, um, but I will zoom you out again to wrap this up. So to wrap this up, uh, I am actually really impressed with these. I feel like um, before I powdered, I was kind of skeptical because they did look quite oily, but after powdering, I'm again super impressed. Um, honestly, my skin doesn't look this good after 10 hours of wearing foundation. It just, like my skin, since it's very dehydrated and dry, and just kind of sucks up the foundation and it just becomes very dry and foundation fades and this looks like I just put it on honestly um so I would definitely recommend this and I feel like this foundation with both of these would be <laughs> amazing for everyday use for work and or school um but yeah uh, I really really like these um and going back to the difference between the two I honestly can't tell a massive difference uh, the only thing that I would say is that the triple the solution has slightly more coverage than the beyond the solution but finish wise I feel like they look really similar Um also maybe the triple solution is slightly more um, smoothing as well but I don't know if that's just my skin or what but they are really similar uh, so it really depends um, I would say it really depends if you like sunscreen your um, foundations then I would go with triple solution and otherwise I would go with the beyond the solution um, and also um, like I mentioned keep in mind that the triple solution has slightly more coverage than um, the beyond the solution so yeah that was my first impression of the Leo Ali BB creams I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like uh, and I will continue doing these first impressions especially now when I have a new camera but yeah uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you won't miss out on any of my new videos and I will talk to you in my next one bye guys